Hello, and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. From The Matrix to The Martian, science fiction has long been creating futures that are both terrifying and amazing. We don't know where humanity's future lies, but our best answers probably come from the weird imaginations of sci-fi writers and filmmakers. Who else could have created something as utterly horrifying as Jar Jar Binks? Here is our list of 10 ideas from science fiction that might come true sooner than we think. Of course, the most impressive science fiction idea that did come true was this magical button that gives you instant, never-ending access to top 10 lists. It's called the subscribe button, and scientists are still not sure exactly how it works. Fact. Number 10. Teleportation. Anyone who's ever been stuck in traffic, delayed at the airport, or found themselves at a U2 concert has no doubt wished that they could be transported far away at the touch of a button. This technology beams people up in Star Trek and messes people up in the fly. But is it actually possible? In 1993, computer scientists published a paper on quantum teleportation. They stated that it was possible to send information between two distant but linked particles through a process called quantum entanglement. This would effectively recreate that particle instantly, potentially light years away. Sadly, most scientists agree that this can't work for large objects like humans or flies, but it could result in super fast internet speeds pretty soon. Number 9. Time Travel So maybe we can't instantly travel through space, but what about time? If Bill and Ted could manage it, surely we could create a working time machine. It seems the answer is yes, but not in the way most people would think. Einstein showed us that time is relative to your speed. So if you traveled close to the speed of light in a spaceship, time back on Earth would be going faster. When you returned, everyone would have aged far more than you had. As shown in the film Interstellar, the same effect can be achieved by traveling close to a black hole. As for going back into time, you're gonna need a DeLorean or the TARDIS. Number 8. Genetic Enhancement Like Daft Punk, all of us wish to be harder, better, faster, and stronger. We could go to the gym, but what about changing our DNA to make a perfect race of humans? Genetic engineering has existed for thousands of years, with farmers selectively breeding crops and animals for their better traits. But since the 1970s, scientists have been working on altering the genetic makeup of organisms to enhance their abilities. In 2004, researchers created the so-called Schwarzenegger mice, rodents with bulked up muscles that could run faster. They'll soon have their own film, The Verminator. Most scientists agree that it's not a question of whether this can be done to humans, but whether it should. Number 7. Psychic Powers Moving objects with their mind, seeing into the future, and cheating in a poker game? It seems like the human brain has infinite potential in the world of sci-fi. However, pretty much all scientific studies into parapsychology have shown no potential for anything so far-fetched. Yet Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg believes telepathy is on its way in the form of technology. Scientists have already achieved brain-to-brain -brain communication between humans by sending the brain signal of one person to another via magnetic stimulation. Researchers at the University of Washington were able to make that person's fingers move on a keyboard just like mind control. Of course, no one would dream of using this technology for the wrong reasons, right? Number 6. Cyborgs Films and TV have given us a wealth of technologically superpowered characters, from Darth Vader to Robocop. But surprisingly, we've had cyborgs living on Earth for some time now. In 2004, an artist named Neil Harbison became the first internationally recognized cybernetic human. 
Harbison had an antenna implanted into his skull that allowed him to see colors as sound vibrations in his skull. With this mechanical enhancement, he can perceive colors beyond our usual spectrum of vision, receive phone calls, and even connect to the internet. For our viewers, the same effect can be achieved by cellotaping a cell phone to your forehead and moving your arms like a robot. Number 5. Cloning Anyone who's ever put a part of their body in the office Xerox machine at the staff Christmas party surely understands the joy of making hundreds of copies of themselves. In 1979, scientists created the first genetically identical mice by splitting embryos. But it wasn't until 1996 that Dolly the Sheep was born, the first clone of an adult mammal. Research into human cloning has understandably been banned by many nations around the world. But the applications in stem cell research offer the possibility for replacement organ tissue without having to murder your own clone for their kidneys. Number 4. Space Colonization Humans have been living on Earth for over 200,000 years, and frankly, it's getting a little cramped. We've eaten all the dodos and the climate is getting a little too warm. Soon, it might be time to spread our wings and go ruin another planet. Most efforts at the moment are focused on Mars. The presence of water, its proximity, and its relatively similar temperatures to Earth make it the best candidate. There's a slight problem with the lack of oxygen, but scientists are researching the use of photosynthesizing bacteria for the creation of habitable colonies on the surface of the planet. And with a gravity that's 60% less than Earth's, the Mars Olympics should be very entertaining. Number 3. Alien Invasion since H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds, humans have been fighting a steady stream of eager extraterrestrials. Nick Pope, formerly of the UK Defence Ministry, warns that governments are woefully underprepared for first contact. Any civilization that could travel such a distance would no doubt have the capabilities to wipe us out easily. Our best hope is to research how best to communicate rather than fight. Other scientists, such as Brian Cox, say that the chance of an advanced civilization existing in our galaxy seems pretty small. It's possible that most races destroy themselves before they destroy any others. This is both good news and bad news for humans. Number 2. The End of the World The Apocalypse, Armageddon, Ragnarok, The Rapture Whatever you call it, humans have been obsessed with the end of days for thousands of years. Terrifyingly, the list of threats we face is as long in reality as it is in movies. Firstly, there are external threats, such as asteroids or blasts of radiation from stars that fry us or destroy technology. Then we have the supervolcanoes, such as Mount Toba in Indonesia, that nearly wiped out humans 74,000 years ago. And among the other dangers are man-made ones, such as nuclear war or drastic climate change. Only one thing seems common to all theories. Humans will perish long before the planet does. Isn't that nice? Number 1. Artificial Intelligence Some of the greatest works of science fiction have dealt with what many experts believe is the next step in humanity's future. Artificial Intelligence There is a debate over whether it's possible for us to create a mind that is smarter than ourselves. With neural networks that evolve and learn, the prospect of a digital consciousness seems very real, and to some, very scary. Stephen Hawking said that the development of a full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race, and figures like CEO Elon Musk are in agreement. The moment we achieve full AI, known as the singularity, could be the most important moment in the history of the planet. Think about that the next time you ask your phone to order you a pizza. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video.
And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe. Hey there! Did you like that top 10 video? I know you did. You just watched it. Now you're here with me. So, uh, go hit that subscribe button so I, uh, don't have to whack you in the noodle. You don't want, uh, you don't want Sammy here whacking you in the noodle. Because you know what happens to your noodle when Sammy hits you? Uh, bad things. It's Victor and Egg. You remember that? It's gross. You don't want that. You'll get it all over the computer and, uh, you know, you might break the internet. Anyway subscribe you know make sure you like the channel all that stuff you, 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 you've been on youtube before just do what you know you need to do to see more videos and hey if you're in need of a hitman go down and uh, leave a comment for me maybe we can connect you can give me some money i can give uh, some violence to someone that you don't like all right i'll see you around